We'll see Peter Gardere and Texas on offense first. It's orange on orange. Bright orange against burn orange in the Mobile Cotton Bowl Classic coming up next. Carlos Huerta of Miami will kick to start the game. Excellent place kicker for the Hurricanes. He did have one run back this year. Actually, two for touchdowns. One by Russell White of California and one by the Rocket that really cost him against Notre Dame. Adrian Walker and Chris Samuels on the return for Texas. Kick comes to Samuels from the goal line. Smashed at the 14. Robert E. Lee High School. And what a quarterback and a season he has had, although somewhat of a slow starter. Samuels, who just returned that kick, will be in the backfield with Hadnot, Jim. And Samuels got up and tried to run off the field as you look at Johnny Walker and Keith Cash, two key receivers for Texas. And, of course, the Cash twins. Carey could be the most dangerous in the key to this attack. But it's Walker and Butch Hadnot, a freshman sensation. <laughs> Running play with Walker. Todd Smith is the center, a former walk-on. Miller and Boyd are the guards, and outside of them, you've got Johnson and Stan Thomas. Thomas is the key. Over 2,000 yards, Peter Gardere, second and seven. Had not. With that massive defensive line, Russell Maryland and Shane Curry. On the ends, Anthony Hamlet and Rusty Medeiros, a freshman from Missouri who has come on. Michael Barrow is the middle linebacker. Maurice Prum and Darren Smith join him. It's third and one for Texas from the 24. Lining up in the eye. Walker. And a tackle by Crum. It's per punt. Kevin Williams on the return. Left-footed boot. Didn't catch it, and it goes out of bounds near the 50. Dead ball. Personal foul. White. And Miami got flagged for the... They have no penalty. dead ball. Not contact foul. Unsportsmanlike conduct. White. Total of 30-yard penalty. The first and 40. First and 40 for Miami. The, today's crew is from the SEC. Lamar Thomas on the catch at the 20. And out to the 33-yard line. After a gain of 14, Erickson completes pass number one. The two-year starter who led them to the championship a year ago. The fullback, Steve McGuire, will go with three receivers, Randall Thrill Hill and Lamar Thomas, along with Wesley Carroll, who he walked down the ramp with. Interesting first play against that man defense as you look at the tight end, Chudzinski. And he could be a factor today, but they ran underneath and tried to rub the guys off one-on-one. -on -one. Everyone out of the backfield, second and 26. Erickson again, and there's Carroll at the 41 on third and 18. Going long for Kevin Williams. Miami will get another third down play. Third and 13 with trips to the right. Spencer, first down Miami at the Texas 29. Daryl Spencer with a gain of 24. Great blocking, great execution on a crossing pattern. Remember, it was first and 40, and Miami gets the first down. Now they run it with McGuire, and he gains about two. So far, Erickson's had his time, been able to find his receivers. Leonard Conley comes out of the backfield now in motion on second and nine. Randy Bethel in a tight end. Erickson has a man open. Did it get there on one hop? He got it. Erickson four for four for 64 yards. As their march continues, first down near the 10. Conley gets away from the loss. And back to the line of scrimmage. Darren Handy. Well, he used to be a guard. He has excellent feet. He's 278 pounds, both sides of him, Jones and Cristobal. Cristobal is probably the strongest guy on that line. And there's Old Sullivan, the most experienced lineman. And we've already seen Searcy throw Giles to the ground. Watch Lamar Thomas at the bottom of your screen. They like to throw it high for him. He has great jumping ability. 
second down and 10. They're going the right side instead, and the ball was deflected. Here's the pass play we talked about. Incomplete. Illegal motion, offense. Over 80% this year, Huerta, he's a great one. This is 28 yards away. And a kick is good. Miami drives on his first possession, and that's a field goal from Carlos Huerta. They come out and play like they did against San Diego State emotionally. You give the Aztecs credit. They gave them a great game and a fall down by Willie Mac Garza. Samuels has come back in for the Longhorns. He's on a wing to the left on first down from the three. Had nice. No game. Roland Smith starts in one corner. Robert Bailey with some tremendous plays already is at the other side. The safeties are Darrell Williams and Charles Farms. The freshman had not chin strap. Second down and 10 out of the end zone. Gardner's first pass intended for Walker. He's wide to the left on third and 10. They run it with had not. And doubled up by Barrow and Crack. Kevin Williams back at the 45. He may have fumbled on the back end of that. He did. They're going to say they whistled it down. They're going to give it to Miami. But, but watch now. Kevin Williams, did he fumble? He was fumbling on the way down. Absolutely. That's a fumble. But a whirlwind start for Miami. Now let's set Texas defensively. Shane Dronette and Oscar Giles, he's an all-Southwest Conference player. Both of them are. Middle linebacker Brian Jones, very active. Boone Powell, Anthony Curl. And you like this secondary, don't you, Timmy? I do, because they're gutsy. They can get beaten on a play. They come right back. They'll talk to you, and they, they don't let it bother them. So this is the defense led by its seniors, Giles Jones and Richard. First and 10, Miami. McGuire with a hole and picks up another first at the 37. They're very effective, very balanced. Randy Bethel alternating with Chudzinski at tight end. On first and 10, play action. Erickson with great time. Whoa! Almost intercepted. Second down and 10 from the Texas 37. McGuire, no game. Three receivers to the right on third and 10. Conley in the backfield as the single back. Erickson to Bethel. Makes the catch, but way short of the first. It's a 50-yard attempt for Huerta. He's made a 52-yarder this year. Joe Moore on the hold. Kick, is it long enough? Yes, and it's good. I'm on, coach. I've got a strong leg today. He turned around, he walked off. Comes on, he's got two already in this game. 1973, his longest is 52 yards. He's had three over 50. Garza, again, having trouble on the return. He'll down it for a touchback. Walker wide to the right, Cash to the left. Now everyone out of the backfield. Gardner felt the heat from Darren Smith first. Second and 15. Another sack. Russell Maryland. Third down, 24. Stephen Clark in as a tight end for Texas. Texas running it with Hadnot, and they swarm him near the 10. Okay. Good play by Barrow of Miami. Now waits with a spiral punt, not very deep. Bouncing around favorably for Texas. And down it at the 46 of Miami. That's a 43-yard punt. Leonard Conley is the single back. Three receivers to the left for Miami. Good leg. Carroll's open and has it out of bounds at the Texas 36. Maybe two linebackers if Williams agrees with me. 
Hand off McGuire and a loss of a yard. A good defensive play by Shane Dronett. Spencer has come back in as a receiver. He's in a slot to the left. Conley in motion. Second down, 11 to go. Third down, 16 to go for Miami. Carroll shakes free. And out of bounds near the first. We have a dead ball after the play is over. Clipping the white team before down 16. Willie Mac Garza standing back for Texas will let it bounce around into the end zone, a touchback. Had not as the single back, the man we're talking about. He gets the carry, and only a one-yard gain. Hit first by Darrell Williams. Second down and nine. Play action. Gardere goes down and fumbles. Maryland calls it. Recovered inside the 10 by Miami. They're penalizing Miami for excessive celebration. Dancing in the end zone, 15-yard penalty on the foot. It's first and goal from the 23. Carroll out of bounds near the 15. Yeah. First of foul. Orange team be an automatic first down. First and 10 for Miami. Intended for Conley. Second down, 10. Alex Johnson has come in for Miami. Erickson's pass caught by Carroll. Nice move. Touchdown, Miami. come in along with Alex Johnson in the backfield. Erickson rolling. Intercepted. No. Dropped by Barry, but it doesn't matter. So it stays Miami 12, Texas nothing. Relaxed right now. They're used to being in this situation. Kick bouncing over the head of Samuels, who returned to the kick return team. Just think back to Notre Dame and Houston in 1979, and you're thankful for any kind of day better than that. Samuels running for a one-yard gain. So at the end of the first quarter, it's Miami 12, Texas nothing. We'll return to the Cotton Bowl after this message and the word from your local station. Start the second quarter, and Texas facing second and nine from its 21. Samuels and had not split behind Gardere. Williams chasing him. Great escapability by Gardere. But still goes down at the 17 for a loss by the Miami defense. Third and 14 for Texas. Maryland. Oh, boy. Make it five. Waits out of the end zone. Low kick bouncing at midfield. Williams picks it up and stumbles to the 39. Keep it up, defense. Oh, there's a big hit. Oscar Giles, second and 12. again wide open was Carroll he was wide open trips to the right incomplete intended for Spencer Samuels back for the return fair catch called made by Samuels five yards Violation of the two-yard buffer zone, five-yard penalty. Their best starting position by 21 yards. 
And the first completion by Gardner. It goes to Samuels out to the 48-yard line. Second down for the Horns. Call it three. Had not collared by Darren Smith. He remembers his father every game with his initials on his uniform. Third down play. First down for Texas. Dead ball. After play is over. Personal foul. Defensive team. To the 19-yard line. First down from the 19, lined up in the eye. Hand off, Samuels. Second down for Texas, second and three. The flag is down, had not carries. Offside penalty against Miami. That'll give Texas a first and goal to go. First and goal from the seventh. Crowd on its feet. The pitch to Samuels. So the flag on the field. Samuels is belted near the five by Darrell Williams. We've got an offsetting foul. Offside defense. Holding offense. First down. Let's see if they go to their money player, Cash. If I'm on defense. I'm thinking Cash right now for the payoff. Hat knocks. A lot of movement, but no gain. Score it as a loss of a yard. Second and goal for Texas from the eight. Shane Curry with sack number six. Texas, third and goal to go from the 12. Gardere almost intercepted by Bailey. 29 yard attempt. Pick is good. goal with the seven. The Horn settled for a field goal to move within nine. Field goals in a season. A walk-on. Pollock's kick bounces to Williams at the eight. Williams to the 20. Williams to the 30. Across the 40. And to the 47. Alex Johnson is the single back for Miami. Here comes Texas. And that pass was thrown at Darren Handy, the center. Bo Robinson put it. No grounding. No elbow receiver in the area. Five yard penalty. Balls are down. Back him up from where he threw it. Second down, 27 to go. Out of the backfield to Johnson. Spinning around to the 32. Erickson to Carroll, and he falls short of the first. He'll let it go into the end zone, a touchback. First down for Texas. Cash, Keith Cash. His first catch. Second down for Texas. Walker dropped for a loss by Michael Barrow. Third down five for Texas. Gardner with time this time, but he's picked off by Bailey at the 30. Bailey to the 25 and down at the 20. Tackled by Stephen Clark. Five tackles and an interception from the 21. With pressure, Erickson is sacked this time by Brian Jones. Erickson reminds him of Klingler, right down to the jersey number. Second down, Erickson looking in zone for Carroll. Touchdown, Miami. And as always, it's good. 19 to 3, Miami. Huerta's kick travels to Samuels at the 7. Good run back across the 30 to the 35. Again, they get 
it's a Gardner, but they may have grabbed him by the face mask. Mask. Partial foul. Face mask. Defense. 15 yards. First down. It's from the 50. Three receivers to the left. He's in uniform because he hopes to maybe get into the game at the end of the game. Now back to you, Jim. Off the option this time. They run the option with Gardere. Walker left. Cash in a slot left. Second and three for Texas. Had not. First down for the Longhorns to the 37. Dead ball. Partial foul. After play is over. Defensive team. First down. First down for Texas. Had not met head on at the 18 by Hurley Brown. Second down and seven. Gardere on the run, hits his target, Samuels. Samuels has a first and goal to go with the nine. Kerry Cash. They like to get into the jump ball situation with him. They're looking for it. There he is. No jump ball, but a bullet pass to the five and down to the three. Samuels. Right before the half. Third and goal. Play action. Incomplete. Cash is to the right. Carry Cash. Keep Cash to the left. Fourth there he is. Goal. There he is. Cash out of bounds when he made the catch. And he's knocked out again by Bailey. Well, I'm telling you, Bailey showed up today with bad intentions. Run it out here before the half. Miami 19 to 3 at the half. CBS sports coverage of the Mobile Cotton Bowl continues after this message in a word from your local station. Kevin Williams and Daryl Spencer of Miami await at the five yard line for the kick from Pollock. Kevin Williams, freshman from Dallas, Texas, across the 20, across the 30, across the 40, in near midfield, finally brought down. Horace Copeland in as a receiver wide to the left. He's a speedster, one-on-one -on -one coverage for him. Here comes a blitz on Erickson, and he goes down for a three-yard loss. Second down for Miami, second and 13. Intended for Williams. Third down, 13 for Miami. Oh, and they get to him. Snyder to punt. With pressure, gets it away. Takes Samuels back to the 20. Unable to get away from that first wave. During the run back, clipping. Receiving team be first and ten. Most outrageous penalties you can find just to keep both teams on a leash. And I think that's what they're doing here. First down play for Texas from its nine. Samuels, the return guy, runner, fine receiver, anything type guy. Second down, six. Guard there with Maryland after him. He gets away. He's got the first down. First down from the 28. On the delay, the give to Hadnot. And only a gain of about two. But you don't want to pull those reins too much. Second down, nine. Gardere intercepted. Darren Smith to the 10. He'll high step it in for the Hurricane touchdown. down by Darren Smith. The second one is. And Huerta converts the extra point. It's been a game so far the Longhorns would like to forget. Huerta kicks it for Miami with a 26-3 lead. Walker from the six. Yeah, let's
Let's hope so. First down, Texas and had not. Second down, six to go. There's a good run. Samuels picks up the first for the Longhorns. They've got to. The offensive line has to improve. On first down, off the option. They go to Hadnot on the pitch. Hadnot to the outside. Into Miami territory and out of bounds near the 40. He now has 76 for the game. Samuels. Robert Bailey by the ankle. Now second and six. Gardair keeps for a one yard. He wants to go to med school after graduating this spring. Third down, Gardair keeping near the first. No, oh, he's got the first easily. Walker and Cash to the left. Samuels on a wing to the left. Had not in the backfield. First down, looking to pass. Gardair toward the end zone, out of bounds for Walker. Been together playing football for eight years. Closing it out today. Now, Hadnot makes the catch, but it's a loss on the play. Third down and 13 for Texas. Sack time for Mark Caesar. Sack number seven. 54-yard field goal attempt for Michael Pollock. He had one of 56 yards this year. Successful against Baylor. Barefooted kick will not get there. Well short of the mark. From the 38, Miami first down. McGuire driving it down to the 46 of the Longhorns. Wrestled down by Shane Dronett. Second and 12, a loss of two after Dronett's play. Going downfield for Thrill Hill at the 20. To the 10, touchdown Miami. Come on back, Randall. Come on back. <laughs> well, we talked about the older, more experienced Miami team. This border's on child abuse. There. Hill's first catch. And it goes for a touchdown. Tough body, soft hands. We told you that. Kick comes to the four yard line. Samuels. Across the 20, across the 30, and out of bounds. Herbert James has replaced Bailey at the corner. First down for Texas. Looking for his receiver, Cash, and the catch near the 40-yard line. Second down, five to go. Had not. Bursting for the first near midfield. They are loaded at the skilled spots, the skilled positions. First down play, rolling and throwing. Gardair hits Samuels because his back is so bad. Second down and three. Running play, Samuels, and a first down near the 40. Number three all-time Texas high school quarterback. One of the guys ahead of him, passing yardage, was Ty Detmer. Here he pitches to Hadnot. He's got another first down for the Longhorns. And first down, Longhorns. Samuels sliding for about three. Coming over to cover the bottom of your screen, Johnny Walker. Second down and eight. Looking to the left, and Samuels can't hold on. Inside the 20, would have had the first. Their star quarterback led him to the Cotton Bowl. Third down and eight. Oh, he takes a big hit back at the 36. Go against the Canes. Holding defensive team, 10 yard penalty. Teams are warming up. I thought he was going to run over me. He got a little bit frisky. First down, had not on the run. Had not over 100. Second and seven. Gardere lost the football. Patrick took it right away from him. Kevin Patrick pickpockets. Marilyn Curry, Madeiras, Hamlet, now Patrick. They're all responding and rising to the occasion today. Four turnovers now for Miami. 
McGuire. On his back is Brian Jones. Leonard Hamilton, he, he will get that program going. Leonard Conley, first down for Miami to the 40-yard line. So we've got the brothers, the Crystal Ball brothers, at right and left guard. First down, Miami. Pulling to the left, Conley. Sprints near the 50. Conley explodes. Holding. Offensive team during the run, 10-yard penalty. <laughs> in penalties. <laughs> First and 20. Good catch by Conley. Three receivers to the right, second and 14, closing seconds of the third quarter. On the run, Bethel on the catch into Texas territory. Butts heads and drives inside the 40. And that ends the third quarter. Miami 33, Texas 3. Our coverage continues after this message and a word from your local station. Starting the fourth quarter, Miami at the Texas 39. First down, three receivers to the left. Carroll, Williams, and Hill. But they'll run it right with McGuire. Give them five on the carry. Second and five. Rolling, throwing, and hitting his tight end. Chudzinski did everything that was asked of him. They're the only unbeaten team in the nation. First down, Canes. Pressure on Erickson. Take him down at the 35. And that's five sacks now for the Longhorn defense. <laughs> yeah, cancel my trip, too. <laughs> Second and 17. The receiver fell down. Third and 17 for the games. Complete to Carroll for a first down. Running play, Alex Johnson. Second and one for Miami. A pitch to Johnson. Oh, Johnson dropped again by Dronett. And a flag thrown on the back end of it. Personal foul, grabbing the face man, defense, half the distance to the goal, automatic first down. You'll see him here from behind. He goes after Johnson. I never did see the face man, did you? Never uh, got the face man. Nope, never did. Burst and goal for the Canes. Alex Johnson, a one-yard gain. Second and goal. Looking for the tight end. Touchdown, Miami! Randy Bethel. Extra point blocked. They can return it. That breaks Huerta's record. Gunn is running it back, going for two points, and dropped at the 40. Personal foul penalty. What else? The way it's been going, Miami. And that backs them up to the 20 to kick it here. That's Walker. And a good tackle at the 33, and another flag. During the run by Clippin, Clippin, offensive team. And a lot. Phil Brown is coming to the backfield for Texas. Gardere almost intercepted, and he is. What an interception. Herbert James on the pickoff. For Miami, they brought in Gino Toretta. Toretta hands off to Conley. 50 move to the outside and tackled at the 21. And Erickson, for that matter, and he threw for 468 last year in a game against San Jose State. Second down and 10. Crowell out of motion. Toretta hits his man. No, he dropped it. Crowell. 
Third and ten. Breaking through is Connolly for the first. Still on his feet. Connolly will not be denied. Touchdown, Miami. Full scoring record. There it is. Splitting the sticks. And now the celebration begins. It's the largest lead in Cotton Bowl history. Added up, 43-point lead. Miami uh, tagged again with a 15-yard infraction. Moving in on 200. Excess celebration, they say. So they kick from the 20 again. Adrian Walker out to the 40. Saxton is a freshman from Austin. He's got another freshman in the backfield, Phil Brown. Flags against Texas. They were moving at the snap. Stephen Clark was. He's had a terrific season. Offensive team declined. A total of only 40 yards passing, and he was sacked eight times. Second and 12, they run the option with Saxton. No. Tell you what, you talk about taking out the quarterback. Eight minutes, 20 seconds remaining, third and 17. Saxton, the son of a former Longhorn great by the same name. He's a teammate, in fact, of McWilliams. Saxton hits his pass near the 50. Mike Davis waits with no one deep. Oh, that's a backward bounce for the Longhorns, and down it at the 23. Have him again. He's worked every Masters, in fact, at CBS. Herman. 1964 Masters. A lot of people have written Miami out of the national title. And if Georgia Tech wins, then Georgia Tech should win the title. Look at this. Over the head of Spencer. I like Notre Dame tonight as well, but Miami will not be able to jump Tech in the polls, like you said. Know him now and watched him play against Notre Dame this year. There's the punt to Samuels and taken down at the 45. And it's what is the most lopsided cotton bowl in its history and one of the longest. Here's the end around to Davis. Back him up yardage. That last tackle made by Dexter Siegler. Movement on the right side for Texas. And on. Dead ball. Illegal motion. Offensive line. Five-yard penalty. So the 34 points exceeded now, obviously, by Miami's 43-point differential. There's a sack by Kenny Lopez, a freshman from Key West. The Canes have gone over 200 yards. And penalty yardage. 202. Running it is Phil Brown into Miami territory at the 46. And on top of that, all have graduated and are now pursuing second degrees. A remarkable group. Saxton on the keep. Saxton inside the 25 and down to the 22. The option sprint quarterback with a flag on the field inside the 20 and down to the 12. Now that he sees the Longhorns driving, he won't like that call. They were eligible for the Fiesta, the Cotton, the Sugar, and the Orange in their careers. That's great accomplishment. Another flag on the field with Brown racing to the 20. Offside, defense, violation, neutral zone, penalty is declined. Right. Step on the scales, okay? Absolutely. Saxton trying to find the end zone for Texas. Down to the 10. First down for Texas. Brown, a loss of a yard. And they just dominated from the flip of the coin on. I agree with you, Tim. Second and 11. They pitch it outside, and Brown gets to the six. Third and five, Texas. Quarterback draw, and no game. Fourth down for the Horns. One more try for the goal line. Throwing and incomplete. This year in the college football today. There's a running play by Patton. <laughs> and a 
good run out to the 18-yard line by Patton. They're dancing at midfield. Texas was dancing with wolves today as the Hurricanes blew them out 46 to 3. So for Tim Brandt, John Dockery, Andrea Joyce, and Mike Francesa, this is Jim Nance saying so long from the Cotton Bowl.